I will build on my uh, on the former speakers. We did, of course, a great job talking about fractional and lasers and the RF. Um, and I will concentrate on the new technologies of microneedling, referring to differences between lasers and microneedle RF and differences between the different technologies of RF microneedling. So I see it as a historical progression in technologies of course, with fractional being um, a revolution, I think, in our ability to resurface skin and to treat skin. So it all started, of course, with the fractional lasers, both the ablative and non-ablative. Later, I think, uh, there was a big progress, especially for dark skin types, but for all skin types, with the RF technologies and with the fractional skin resurfacing first being bipolar and then being multi-source RF which is the Entimet technologies, the 3 deep, and the newest thing is the microneedling RF that we'll talk more about it today. So if you're talking about the non-ablative fractional lasers they have a few qualities. First of all, the penetration, the maximum will be uh, 100 microns, but it, it is usually less than that. You have the risk for damage for the dermal epidermal junction. You have efficacy that you have seen. And you have low downtime, which is of course very good. If you go to the ablative fractional lasers, then the penetration is actually very, very uh, low, but you have a lot of thermal effect. So you have a very nice efficacy, high efficacy, you have a longer downtime, but you have more risk for dermal epidermal junction problems such as hyperpigmentation and more serious is the hypopigmentation that you have seen some examples before. So if you look here, if you compare the non-ablative and the ablative lasers, you see the differences. Now, RF microneedle actually is solving many of the first problems of the lasers. There are a few technologies here. The technologies that I will speak and compare will be the first generation, which was insulated needles. The insulated needles, the idea was to protect the epidermis. But then came the second generation, which was using non-insulated needles, but with using the electrical differences in the epidermis and dermis, was able to protect the epidermis from damage, and at the same time have three times to seven times more effect than the first generation insulated needles. The second difference in technologies between different microneedles is the way they are inserted in the skin. So first came the manual insertion in which you have just needles like the dermal roller or the needles that uh, are, you can use at home. It just by hand, you're throwing it onto the skin. Then came the second technology was by spring. You use a spring you shoot it actually into the skin. But the most, of course, sophisticated one that I suggest you to look for is the microneedle RF that use a motor. With the motor, they insert very slowly the needles inside without trauma to the epidermis, and then you actually prevent the damage or the risk for hyperpigmentation that you don't want, especially on dark skin. The third thing that you want to look when you're going to buy RF microneedle is of course the quality of the needles. If you look on your uh, left side, you'll have the low quality needles. Sometimes you see them on the market, a few different types, of course they will cause a trauma. And then you have high quality needles that you want because they will penetrate the epidermis, the dermal epidermal junction without trauma, without the risk for hypopigmentation and hyperpigmentation. And these are uh, some small graphics 
to show you the things I was talking about. These are the hand uh, penetrating needles and of course you cannot control them, you have much more trauma to the epidermis and risk of problems. Usually there are also shorter needles, so it's an uncontrolled technology with more trauma. Then you have the insulated RF micro needles. Okay? The thing with this needle is that they emit energy only on the tip, on a very small part. It's something like a seventh of the penetration will emit heat. And the problem here, you have a very low volume of heating and then the efficacy, of course, will be smaller. The treatment will be much longer because if you want to do different layers of the skin, you have to do multiple passes. And the last thing, which is not so serious, but it's not very pleasant, you have micro bleeding. When you finish the treatment, all the face is actually bleeding with small points. Now let's talk, this is the bleeding. Now let's talk about the non-insulated bleeding using electrical impedance differences into the skin like the Antimed Intensive. And you have a few things here. First of all, the insertion is with a very smooth motor that goes very slowly into the skin. Then the insertion is actually without RF. So you penetrate the dermal epidermal junction without heating, without damaging uh, the epidermis. Once you are here, uh, inside the dermis, then the RF starts. And this is the most important thing here. Because the epidermis is dry, the impedance is high. So you have minimal RF flow in the epidermis, but you have a lot of flow in the dermis, which is wet. So all your effect, all your volume of heat will be in the dermis. And the big advantage is that you go to 3.5 millimeters, so you have at least 3 millimeters of volume of heat in the dermis which you want to have. In addition, you have coagulation around the needle, so you have absolutely no, need, no bleeding. And then the RF stops and the needle goes out. This is the way it works. Okay, this is just moving the same. Okay. Now, if we want to talk more about this device, the big difference in technology is this. Um, compared to the all other devices in the RF that have one generator of RF, one source, in this device you have six sources. And you have also the uh, ability to use multiple handpieces on the same device. So in addition to microneedle RF or fractional RF, you can do a very effective skin tightening for the body, the eyes, uh, the neck, and so on. So this is the handpiece we're talking about. This is a thermal image showing you the penetration and heat. This is how it works. We have also a movie we'll see later. And these are the different technologies with microneedles. Uh, can we see the movie or we see it maybe at the end? In addition to the special needles, you have a special pulse, which goes like a train pulse, which gives you more volume. A lot of studies were done with this technology. Here you see the animal study. What is very nice that clinically all you have is a bit of erythema for less than 24 hours and you have, as you see here in the histology, uh, absolutely um, full regeneration of the epidermis in the biopsy four days follow up the treatment. And this is actually the effect that you want to do. You want to heat the dermis for collagen remodeling which is our target, both in skin rejuvenation and acne scars. This is how it looks. As um, it was said already, it's a minimal downtime procedure, which is good for every skin type. I think these are the things our patients are looking for today. You see immediately after treatment, you have some redness. One day after, actually, nothing anymore. And the best results will start at 30 days and will get better and better to 
three months to six months as all the remodeling procedures. And what you see here is some excellent results uh, of skin rejuvenation. This was five weeks after one treatment. In addition to the textural effect or the glow that you get from the collagen remodeling, you also have a very nice lifting effect. And actually now we're doing a multi-center study uh, showing the lifting effects. And this is one of uh, the results of this study, which Dr. Gold actually is coordinating, um, that show you one month after three antimed intensive, with just a microneedling uh, treatment, you see this, uh, I think, quite uh, astonishing uh, lifting effect with textural benefit in the under chin area and the lower part of the face. This is another, uh, I think, very nice results from the same study. You see after two antimate intensive uh, sessions, the effect on the under chin area and the tightening of the cheeks. And the third one, after three uh, sessions, these are more results. This is one of my patients, one month after one treatment, four days after the textural effects and the lifting on the lower part of the face. And remember, it's everything with absolutely minimal downtime. It's not like the CO2 lasers and, and so on that you have an open wound. It's just 24 hours of erythema. That's all they have. And from the Philippines, very nice uh, effect. The texture, I think it's one of the biggest things, and, and uh, lifting. This is four months after treatment, also from the Philippines. Some uh, deep wrinkles uh, get a huge benefit also here. The glow from France, some pictures. Peroral wrinkle reduction, one of the most, I think, difficult things to do without CO2 ablation or phenol peel and we can see that starting with this intensive technology is that it's 3.5 millimeters, the non-insulating needles, so you get a lot of coagulation around the needle, you have a lot of stimulation with the heat, so with, it would not be a phenol peel or a CO2 laser, but with a non-ablative, mild, down, minimal downtime procedure, I think these are the best uh, results you can have. This was from Canada, the last one, Dr. Keller, you've seen this one. Now, acne scars, of course, is a huge problem and I think we really have something to offer the patients now. Uh, most of the patients are quite young, so they don't want to have a long time, time. They, they cannot afford it. So uh, I personally do these treatments on a daily basis, uh, daily basis actually, with a lot of satisfaction because the benefit compared to the risk uh, is, is very high. This, this ratio is really, really high. And there are nice effects on the ice peak scars that, you know, are very hard to treat. You see it in this case one intensive treatment and uh, this shallow depressed scars very nice this was a published study and of course every skin type and i'll have another lecture specifically on dark skin types and you see there are huge numbers of patients that got it from uh, chinese uh, skin, uh, you know, the Asian skin from China, from Japan, from Philippines, and, and so on. And this is one, actually, I think it's a Chinese woman from Canada with very nice results. Uh, this was one of my patients with skin type 5. Absolutely no risk of hyperpigmentation or hypo. It works very nicely on the larger skin pores. Reduction of course, we heard it from Dr. Tao. Uh, I think the RF is actually the best way to go to reduce the size of pores. And this is something I just got from uh, Hong Kong. Uh, just intensive treatment without any additional uh, treatment, no antibiotics, uh, no topicals and so on. And 
and uh, what you see here is actually a three months follow-up uh, on a girl that had both active acne and acne scars and you see the uh, improvement in both conditions uh, in this uh, patient. Very nice result. Also outside of the face, as, as we hear about fractional lasers that can treat hypopigmented uh, scars, uh, depressed scars, and even now we hear about colored scars, I think we can do all these things very nicely with uh, the RF micro needle also and uh, I would advise everybody to try it. Uh, we have some preliminary nice results you see here from Belgium. Uh, these are actually atrophic scars with a hypopigmented element and uh, both things improved uh, in five sessions with the intensive micro needle RF. Uh, for stria it's very nice. Uh, works here as you see both on the red ones and the white ones. A nice case from Canada, another one from Canada. And I want to conclude with this very, very interesting uh, published study from Lasers and Surgery of Medicine, in which Dr. Tanaka from uh, Japan actually used the Vectra. Uh, camera to uh, look for both tightening, uh, contouring and the volume changes. And what you see here is the, actually the, the red, the orange and the yellow part of the picture are the areas in which there is a change in volume. Actually comparing the baseline to the six months post-treatment and it's one treatment. The, the big thing here, it's the first time somebody took one treatment with the micro needle and looks for six months follow-up after one treatment. And you see here, each month there was a follow-up and uh, the conclusion it was that you see the result after six months. So it's a long-term collagen remodeling effect. And I think it's one of the only studies, maybe the only one, that really proved that after one treatment you have six months uh, results. And of course you see that actually they are better. If you look uh, further to the fourth, fifth and sixth months, you see that the, the change, the red area is actually bigger. So that, that's the best proof that you really have a collagen remodeling effect. So there were multiple uh, patients in this uh, Japanese uh, study, which I think it, it's really one of the great studies. And he's also part of uh, the multi-center study that we're doing now on the tightening. And this is one of his first uh, results from her. So uh, to summarize, I think Microneal RF uh, is here to stay. It's one of the best technology we have today. But there are a lot of differences between devices, so you have to look at different qualities of the device you are looking for.